In this video, we're going to review the transform function to use it to scale and to align your projects. So for instance, let me just start with basic. I have this skewed bathroom file here. And if I needed to align this simply to make it uh, straight, like this one over here, let me go ahead and just create a straight line. I'm going to go to point creation. I'm going to create a couple of points. And all I'm going to do here is uh, make a straight line. So I have a straight line there that I want to align this to. And now I'll go to Kogo, Transform. And I'm going to select the transformation option and click on Next. And now I'm going to select the entities to be transformed. I'm going to press Enter. Now I'm going to make that those reference points. So if I just want to align this to be a nice uh, 90 degree line, I'm going to say okay, this is going to line up with this, this is going to line up with this, and then over here it says match two points, done. And I'm going to uncheck the scaling option because I just drew a line really quick. I just want it to be aligned with that line. So I'm going to uncheck that and say transform. I now have an aligned drawing to a specific angle that I wanted to. So I took a skewed drawing and I made it uh, at a better angle for myself. Now, the second thing is, let's say that I wanted to scale it now to a specific distance. So right now this drawing from this point to this point, it's coming up as 12 feet, 12 feet. Let's say that I know that that's actually supposed to be 10 feet. I'll come in here again. I'm going to go ahead and create two points. Point one, go back to sketch, tap that point. I'll just go ahead and sketch a line that's exactly 10 feet. Say continue. And now I can take either either drawing works, but I wanted to use the skew drawing because that's the, uh, you know, it's a nice exercise. I'm going to go to transformation. I'm going to select transformation, say next. I'm going to select the entities to be transformed, press enter. Now it says take the two points to match them. So I know that this point and this point. And this time I am going to say transform with scaling, say transform. And I am done. So now if I cocoa that again, this is now 10 feet. And clearly this drawing is smaller than the original. So that's very quick of how you can know how to move entities scale them, and align them in a very brief video. Let me know if there's any questions.